word is avalanche. And these dogs can be the difference between life and death on the mountain. Buried in an avalanche. It's everybody's worst nightmare in the backcountry. Today, in the incredible avalanche rescue competition, we're going to put our dog's olfactory senses to the test. Victims will be buried six feet under the snow. It'll be a head to head competition that's timed. The first dog to find the victim wins. Dogs are incredible, and it's so cool to see all the different things that they do. She's my running partner, and we run a lot of miles together. He's what's called a versatile hunting dog. He can do a lot of different things. He can track, he can hunt. She's gone rafting with me. She runs on the side of the river when I go kayaking. She climbs 14ers with me. He likes to have fun. He likes people. He's always happy to do things. She goes everywhere I go. She's incredible. She's an awesome friend and an awesome coworker, too. He's never been on a real life rescue. Hopefully in his career, he'll never have to do one, you know, but he's trained to do one if he has to. Remember, these dogs are searching for more than just buried items. They're searching for real, live human beings buried six feet deep. Up first on the left side of our simulated slide area, in blue, Keystone with Tom Zimmer and Chewy. On the other side of the course, representing the red team, Crested Butte, Craig Hall, and Rocket. First, the dogs will alert, then the handlers will dig. Rocket has alerted first. Encouragement for Chewy. Somewhere under this snow, the victims are waiting to be rescued. You guys okay down there? I'm cool. Both teams now digging feverishly. Chewy continues to comb the area for other survivors. The search never ends. Rocket continues his quest as well. Come on, Chewy. Come here. Rocket out of his hole, looking, searching, wondering. Chewy, on the other hand, seems certain somewhere in this snow, perhaps here, a survivor awaits. Chewy out of the hole with the glove. That's the reward and the win. They'll move on to the finals. Our second semifinal features another team from Crested Butte, Sue Purvis and Tasha, and they know how high the stakes can be. A couple years ago, we got called at 12 o'clock at night um, for, to look for a missing 12-year-old in a blizzard. We're at 11,500 feet, and you couldn't see anything. The dark, the night was dark. And I just put my dog on lead, and she trailed this person for th three hours. And all of a sudden, we heard this little voice say, I'm over here. And so that was a really exciting day for us. That was our first live find. Sue and Tasha on the left in yellow. On the other side, representing green, Aspen Highlands, Lori Spence, and Chase. <laughs> Tasha is searching. Chase has alerted. Alert here. Tasha has alerted, and the digging starts. The green team digging from the left side. Chase coming at it from a different angle. Lucy goes back in there. Brad, right there. Tasha continues to search the slide area. Where is the victim? Chase has found an article, but not the survivor. This is a timed head-to-head -head event. The winner from this semifinal will move on to meet Chewy in the finals. The clock stops when they reach the pole toy and the survivor. Their ability to smell something, someone so deep beneath the snow is incredible. And Tasha has found the right article and the survivor. Tasha moves on to the finals to meet Chewy. On a good day, when everything is working right, this is the result. A survivor emerging from an animal. Excellent. Hey. All right. The winner adventure of the Incredible Dog Challenge is brought to you by Purina Dog Chow and Purina Puppy Chow. Incredible dog food. Incredible dogs.
welcome back to the beautiful slopes of Vail, Colorado. High above the skiers, our avalanche rescue competition continues with Keystone taking on Crested Butte in the finals. Keystone representing the blue on the left, Tom Zimmer and Chewy on the right, Crested Butte, Sue Purvis and Tasha. In the finals, they're working an open course. There is no division between these two teams. There are two survivors under the snow. The dogs catalog the scents of everyone on the surface and incredibly are able to differentiate those scents with the ones they're looking for. The victims, six feet under. Tasha and the yellow team have alerted first. Chewy and the blue team need to find that other survivor. And the search is on. The yellow above, the blue below. Who will find our victim first? As the diggers dig, the dogs continue to scan the surface. In this situation, no one can rest on their laurels. If this were a real avalanche, there could be multiple victims, multiple lives waiting to be saved. Time is running out. What must our victims be thinking, waiting, wondering, when will the dogs find me? And the answer is now for Keystone. Chewy brings home a win for the blue team. Stand by, I'll dig out. And so after one event, the blue team leads with 40 points. Our victim is rescue Tom, CB, and Chewy. You guys are a great team having done this just a few weeks ago in a live situation. And today you had two holes to pick from. Yeah, um, she got that first one and sure enough, I'm like, adrenaline's going, oh no, she's got somebody, I gotta search harder. So, um, you know, she she alerted here, and she dug pretty well. You know, I didn't let her get to the, I thought they were on it, so I just said, CB, get in there, start digging. And I just kept going, and sure enough, CB saw the hole and brought her back, and Chewie got down there. As our competition at the top of the mountain draws to a conclusion, we head back down the hill for more of the winter adventure.